So we reminded ourselves frequently, like when you're in the middle of something special, you're eating something special, you're watching a sunset, something special. You're having one of those moments where you're like, damn, I'm glad I live here. When you get back to the office on Monday, put it on the list. And I said this in my editor's note, it's a really nice way to go through life. And I honestly am going to try to keep up that level of intentionality going forward. Let's begin with the first item that you have on the list. It is, and it's a perfect one, crossing the Piscataqua River Bridge from Portsmouth into Kittery. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard from a Down East reader who says something along the lines of, oh, as soon as I go over that bridge, you know, I feel my, my muscles relax. And we asked uh, our branded content editor, Jen, who is a transplant from Pennsylvania and who used to vacation here and has described that feeling many times to write a little ode to it. Ben Williamson went out and got a beautiful photo. And I think it's just something people can relate to. Here's a good reason to love Maine. And it's all told in the photograph, a working harbor before dawn, Bass Harbor, on Mount Desert Island. Right. Part of the idea as we had these conversations was to not limit it to only pretty postcard things, but just anything that's kind of redolent of Maine or anything. If you've ever sat around and listened to somebody, you know, like blasting ACDC on the wharf at six o'clock in the morning and maybe like smelled some cigarette smoke and just sort of uh, gone, oh, right, that is very much part of my experience of this place. We wanted that to be reflected in here too. Here's something that a lot of readers take for granted, but which you do not see in many other parts of this country and indeed the world, and that is the nighttime stars. Right. Um, it's true. We do kind of take it for granted. And I, we got to thinking about this fairly recently because Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument recently received a designation uh, as a sanctuary from like the, I guess the International Dark Sky Association, or I might be screwing that up. But they're one of um, maybe a dozen places in the world that have received this where you can look up and see a star full of sky with minimal, a sky full of stars <laughs> with minimal <laughs> light pollution. And, uh, you know, particularly on the Eastern seaboard. I mean, that is really, really rare out here. And so we wanted to take a minute to celebrate it. Great photos too. Classic part of the main landscape, Mount Kineo on Moosehead Lake is you know so geologically weird and, and, and distinctive looking and it has an interesting place in Maine history uh, given that so many kind of like early rusticators and early sort of uh, I, don't, I don't want to say explorers but early visitors to Maine came to Moosehead you know Theodore Roosevelt has spent some influential time there and it just cuts such a distinctive profile you will never mistake it for any other mountain. Every list like this should have some items on it that you didn't expect to see there and one that I didn't expect to see but I think is a great choice the A-frames on Route 27 <laughs> around Sugarloaf Ski Area. It, it is kind of about a mix of getting stuff that's really classic that anybody's going to think of and then some stuff that was just uh, personal to us. I love making that drive and seeing those little places. I'm not a big ski country guy. I'm a cross country skier. I don't, I don't go hang out at Sugarloaf all that much. But when I'm in that neighborhood, there's something that's so romantic about those little chalets that just makes me want to pack it up. They've got that retro feel you know, grab my ax and just move into one of those and say to hell with everything else. This is definitely an experience that everyone should try to have. It's one of the quintessential things to do in Maine, sunrise on Cadillac Mountain on Mount Desert Island. And Ginny Wright, my colleague who wrote about that said, you know, it's one of those things that, it's one of those own backyard, have a tendency to ignore it sort of things where she said she scoffed at it for years. I don't want to be in that line of cars driving up to Cadillac Mountain in the middle of the night and what, stand with a bunch of people and look at the sun and who wants to do that? And of course, once she did it, you instantly understand why this is such a, a, a ritual and, and so magical. And again, the photography is out of this world, so. You've got 200 reasons to love Maine, number 200 on the list. Again, a great choice, kind of a perfect yeah. punctuation, the perfect exclamation point, hiking the knife edge at Baxter State Park. Anybody can do it. It's a little bit of a mental hurdle to cross this, uh, I guess, eastern approach to the summit of Katahdin, uh, where in places the ridge line, the ridge that you're walking on is all three feet wide, dives 2,000 feet on either side of you. But it sounds a lot more terrifying than it actually is. It's actually beautiful, transcendent, changed Baxter himself's mind about the area and helped him create this park in the first place. We wanted to start down here at, at, at zero feet uh, on the Piscataqua River and end up here at Katahdin on number 200. So that's what we did. The July